Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. So the thing about this match here that I felt it it felt like they should have done more. I felt more should have been done when building this up. Like Michael Cole was constantly saying how this was the real the third time that real life brothers were going at it at WrestleMania, which further knowledge is Kane and Undertaker being kayfabe brothers, obviously, but everybody knows that. There was a great video package, and this is my thing. I put in my notes, despite the long gaps of no buildup throughout the months since SummerSlam to WrestleMania 40, that it was still a good video, great video package. And it really was. The thing is, you know, I wasn't, I was there at SummerSlam 2023 live. I wasn't a big fan of it. I didn't like to how Jimmy Uso, even though he was entertaining, I didn't really like how Jimmy Uso said one thing and then decided to just go back with the bloodline, especially when you listen to the lyrics of his theme song and about him standing out. I thought they would have built Jimmy up more as a big main event star, getting close to that main event star like they did with Jay Uso. And then it's like, okay, he would cost him the tag titles, then they wouldn't do anything for months. And then they were fighting the Rumble. And and they wouldn't do anything for weeks and then jamie would come back and then they wouldn't do anything for weeks and it's like the last couple of weeks is finally when we really started going and it would have been cool if they would have been able to bring in rikishi he was there at the hall of fame but i'm not sure why he didn't get involved in the story but uh uh that would be dependent upon him of course whether he wanted to or not that's his right but yeah i i think i would have loved to see more from the build-up that being said in terms of the match they introduce little lane as the greatest rapper of all time i'm a casual rap fan so feel free for any of you hardcore rap fans out there watching this let me know if you feel that that's pretty accurate that he's the greatest rap greatest rapper of all time that was coming from samantha irving which must have been a line obviously wwe fed to her so yeah <laughs> um i will say a lot of my buddies who are big hardcore rap fans like him but they disagree with that statement uh that being said he was the hype man for jay uso and then what i did like is when jimmy uso comes out jay uso came out fire and right off the bat didn't even let jimmy get in the ring and started going at it what i notice is the subtlety of this match there wasn't a lot of high impact moves but the story was there and there's like even just simple things of jay uso and jimmy doing the punch exchange when jay it's like the audience is going yeet and then when it's jimmy uso the audience is going no yeet so that was cool to see back yeet no yeet yeet no yeet so that was awesome the storytelling was fantastic obviously the time that they've spent in the bloodline no doubt has improved their storytelling in the ring uh and and it's been good man like the trash talk and the talk the emotion was all there and i think that's what really helped carry this match it was the story the dialogue there's parts where they went super kick they had a super kick showdown it's just yeah the storytelling was definitely on point in this match um and then there's this part where jimmy uso he plays the old school heel basically old school heel book 101 begging for forgiveness i'm sorry i apologize and jay uso's like all right i, I accept your apology i believe you need picks jimmy up only to get hit with a super kick and it's like yeah jay uso fell for the oldest trick in the book um but at the end of the day of this match jimmy does a manage i think jimmy was going for a spear but jay catches him with a spear and ends up finishing off to win the match with a splash this this match really wasn't that long and i do think there was a lack of intensity in in it in terms of the build-up and the magnitude and where i think they were trying to go um so i felt they didn't match that but the storytelling definitely was excellent and i'll be honest i actually enjoyed this more than the tribal combat match at SummerSlam. so overall i don't know if i would say it lived up to the full expectations i was hoping for but what i did see i really did enjoy jimmy and jay were fantastic storytellings and at the end of the day when the storytelling is on point and it's a little you know it's a good case of less is more and i think that's why i really enjoyed the match whatever it may have lacked in terms of the intensity that i thought the magnitude the storyline would bring it more than made up for the storytelling itself i wonder if this is just going to be one of many matches they'll have coming and then this is where they're going to continue to build so we'll see that